TopDesk has a best practice database that advises you on how to structure your knowledge database. For the title, you want to provide one or two keywords, often a subcategory of the subject at hand, followed by a colon and a short description of the article. When choosing where to put the knowledge item under parent item, you pick a parent that fits the overall tone of your new knowledge item. You can also consider having a separate parent for all users and for operators. In the description field, you describe the question or problem in the words of the user. For the content section, you want to add the header answer, followed by the description of the steps to solve the problem. Keep in mind, a good answer or solution contains a step-by-step -step approach, information that is short and to the point, if helpful, include screenshots or animated GIFs. You can also link to other relevant knowledge items by adding the KI number. In the Comments for Operators section, you want to add information that is only for internal use. For instance, instructions that a colleague can execute, but an end user can't. You can also add a more technical explanation here. In the Keywords section, you can add keywords to improve findability of knowledge items, add synonyms that the end user might use, singulars or plurals that describe the question or problem. Keep in mind that this doesn't have to be technically correct. Keywords are separated by comma without a space. For instance, look at the example in the keywords. Keywords are not case sensitive. And that is how you're recommended to structure your knowledge items. Remember, as always, to save.